Hello everybody, welcome back to Best Buddies YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be making a taffy pearl bracelet. This is how it looks like. So this is a very, uh, this is actually a very simple process. So it's going to be su uh, super, super simple for you guys to follow along and easy as well. So for this bracelet, we are going to be using any colored bands, a loom, and a hook. And I'm going to be using an S-clip. You can use a C-clip as well. It doesn't matter. So let's get started. So we are going to face our loom this way. Now we're going to grab the first color, which we are going to be using. Um, as you can see, I in this bracelet, I alternated between white and rainbow color. But I'm just going to be randomly placing my color bands today. Well, not exactly randomly, a little in a pattern. So I'm gonna uh, grab my first set of bands and we're gonna keep it crossways like this. Oops, okay. Now we're gonna grab the other set of bands and we are gonna keep it like that. So we, uh, basically throughout this whole process, we are gonna be making like a zigzag pattern. So I'm gonna do the next one as well so as i had it in the um first bracelet this one uh i alternated between white and rainbow colors so this time i'm going to be alternating between green and any other random color and also um this is double bands i'm using so make sure you do double bands because without double bands, it's not going to come out the same way we want it. So now this one. So we're basically just going to continue this in like a zigzag pattern. And make sure to push your bands down because we don't want them to uh, like flop off. now the green so as you saw I even I am pushing them down because it's needed you have to push them down so right now I'm just gonna um, do it I continue my process the same process till the end because it's a long way and also um, you can you can pause the video as well but I'm gonna stop it here and do it till the end and I'll see you guys in a minute so guys I'm just gonna end it over here um, I'm just gonna end it here no reasons just I want to stop it here so now, um, before we continue with the looming process, um, we are gonna add a cap band on this, uh, on this one here. So I'm just gonna grab another green band, and we're gonna take it and wrap it around um, three times. Like that. So we're gonna just keep it like this. So this is a cap band. It's and if you don't know what a cap band is, it's just basically looping the um like one band around one pin like uh, three times or two times, how many other times the it requires. So now we're gonna start with the looming process. We are gonna go inside the cap band which we have made right now. These three layers. And we are going to grab this bottom one. So we are going to grab this bottom one and take it off of here. Okay. Like that. And then instead of hooking it this way, we are going to hook it over here. Um, and also I accidentally left one band down. So there's another band also. So you're gonna grab both of the bands. Don't 
the Mulani one like how I did. That was an accident. So you're just gonna push it down like that. So you're gonna get like this kind of design pattern kind of here. And then we're gonna go inside these um, bands here, these green bands, and we're gonna get the bottom bands, which are these blue ones. And we are gonna keep it front like that. So this is how we are gonna keep it. And then now we are gonna go inside this blue layer of bands and we're gonna grab this um, green one, this one right here. Okay, so we are gonna grab this one right here and we are gonna take it off and keep it front. Make sure you're getting both of the green bands or whatever color bands and then the same thing here so i'm just gonna alternate it like this just taking the bottom band and we are gonna make it go forward like that like this so this is how it is so far now we are just gonna continue the same way just go inside this one and then we are gonna get the green band which is the bottom band and we are going to keep it here like that and then now these bands just keep them forward so now I'm just gonna um, do the same process if you didn't understand it and if you're having a hard time remembering it just pause the video and go back and do it but i'm gonna meet you guys when i'm like back here back here so yeah so now i'm almost towards the end i'm just gonna do like a, this last one and then i'm gonna show you what to do after that so at this point we are done basically but um we have two loose ends and you know we don't need two loose ends so what we are gonna do is go inside this band this white band right here and then we're gonna grab this green band and since we cannot keep it front we are gonna keep it this way so now we are just gonna leave it like this so this is how your loom should look right now. So yeah, so if this is how your loom looks right now, you can just go ahead and remove it, but do not remove this pin, keep this down. And um, if you're scared of the band slipping off, just keep a hook, just stick your hook through all of these bands. So if it falls off, it will at least stay on your hook. So now we're just going to remove it. So I'm just going to go to the end and take it, take it off like that. So when you remove it, um, it's not going to look like how it's supposed to look like. So this bracelet, it's called the taffy pull because you have to pull it a lot to get the, um, like the pattern we are looking for. So it's, you won't like automatically get it. Just you have to be patient and, um, get the pattern because it's gonna be a little difficult you just have to keep on like pulling your um bands to get that pattern oops okay my hook actually actually accidentally <laughs> got stuck and oh my god why does that keep on happening Okay, now I'm almost towards the end. Just have these. Wow, my band just curled into a ball. 
so right now it's gonna look like this but after you pull it you're gonna get the pattern trust me on that so um before we start at the pulling i think we should make a extension so i'm just going to leave that right like that or if you don't want to do that um I'm just gonna keep this over here because it keeps it keeps on getting curled so now we're just gonna remove this hook out of here so uh, basically we're just gonna keep our first band because it's hard to make sure there are all these bands on so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stick our hook inside all these bands make sure you got all of them like just um, poke it in there and now we are going to take our band we are going to keep it like that make sure you pull it so that it doesn't like come off and have it on one of your fingers this will take like a few tries it's a little hard to do but we'll get there if eventually because like the band slips off the hook sometimes so it's a little hard but you'll get it. it's not that hard so you, it's like impossible to do it so um oh no that went out of camera okay sorry about that that actually went out of the camera but i got the um band and i'm just gonna keep both of them on the hook like that so now we're gonna start the extension already looks so beautiful okay so now for the extension um we are gonna take this this thing then we're just gonna keep it uh keep our rubber bands on that so we are gonna remove it off of this make sure you do it carefully because this band can come off if you let it loose and then you take this and then since there are two over here two bands you're going to keep them on each side like this okay so now we're going to do the same the single chain process just keep another band on top and then make the extension i don't need a very big extension because my wrist is not that huge so um, I just need like a few bands okay and also if you didn't check out the other video I have made the bead it uh, the bead band um, check that out. Okay, so this is the last one, and we're just gonna remove this one from that uh, side of the pencil, and we're just gonna keep it on this one. And we're gonna take this. Just remove it. So that's the single chain finished. And we're just gonna grab these and keep it on here like that so at this point it doesn't look like how it's supposed to look like but you have to stretch it to make it look like that actually pretty um hard to make it into the shape it's gonna go into but when you stretch it i promise it's gonna make it's gonna come like this that's why it's called the taffy pull bracelet so just gonna stretch it so as you can see it's still the same way because it i told you it's gonna take some time to work out and take its shape and it's basically on like how you pull it
So I'm gonna come back when this is actually in the proper shape, which is this. So this is how it looks like. So yeah, I hope you like how this bracelet turned out. If you did, like, share and subscribe. And if you have already done all of that, thank you so much for seeing this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.